Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The common perineal nerve receives its signals from spinal nerve roots L4 through S3. The sciatic nerve, which is the largest nerve in the body, bifurcates into two separate nerves. One of those nerves is the tibial nerve and the other nerve is the common perineal nerve. The common perineal nerve separates into the deep and superficial perineal nerves. The common perineal nerve is also known as the common fibular nerve. These branches of the common perineal nerve supply motor and sensory innervation to the anterior and lateral aspects of the lower leg. Just inferior and lateral to the fibular head at the fibular neck, the common perineal nerve bifurcates into the superficial perineal nerve, which is also known as the superficial fibular nerve, and the deep perineal nerve, which is also known as the deep fibular nerve. The superficial perineal nerve supplies the motor innervation to the lateral compartment of the lower leg, which is responsible for foot eversion, and the deep perineal nerve supplies the motor innervation to the anterior compartment responsible for ankle dorsiflexion, toe extension, and ankle inversion. Once again, the common perineal nerve is also known as the common fibular nerve. It receives fibers from the posterior division of spinal nerve roots L4 through S3. The common perineal nerve is one of the main branches of the sciatic nerve. A few centimeters superior to the popliteal fossa, the sciatic nerve bifurcates into the common perineal nerve and the tibial nerve. The common perineal nerve continues distally into the anterior and lateral compartments of the lower leg and foot, while the tibial nerve descends towards the posterior compartment.